Biological wastewater treatment is the most commonly employed method for reducing the organic and inorganic contaminants in wastewater before either reuse or safe discharge of treated water. Biological wastewater treatment primarily relies on the use of naturally occurring microorganisms, mainly bacteria, for degradation of these contaminants, and the treatment invariably generates excess sludge. Ovivo, a worldwide leader in providing advanced water and wastewater treatment solutions, in partnership with the University of Akron, has developed an algae-based wastewater and sludge treatment technology which can revolutionize the biological treatment methods. A majority of the current focus on use of algae for wastewater treatment involves photosynthetic algae. However, providing a sustainable light source for photosynthesis at a wastewater treatment plant site and achieving effective phase separation for algae harvesting remain major challenges. To overcome these common problems, Ovivo has developed a unique solution based on a phagotrophic algal species. The algae can ingest small microbial, viral, and other organic particulates through its phagotrophic capability. It can consume dissolved organics through its heterotrophic capability and can also grow with light using the phototrophic capability as their survival mechanism. They are eukaryotic and do not have cell walls. They can create a current with the flagella moving, which forces fluid and particles, including bacteria, to flow toward the front, aggregate them, trap them at its surface, and engulf them. A single algal cell can have anywhere from 30 to 80 percent of their cell weight as lipids, which is 5 to 15 times more than a typical bacterial cell lipid content. High lipid content makes the algae an ideal feedstock for production of biofuels, bioplastics, as well as some animal feed products. Based on lab research and pilot plant studies, Ovivo has identified two major applications. One application involves harvesting algae off wastewater or biological sludge to collect a sellable end product. The other involves use of algae to enhance both aerobic and anaerobic digestion, resulting in 50% or more reduction in retention time requirements. Digestion forces microorganisms to starve, feed off themselves, and subsequently die in the absence of any externally available food. The United States Environmental Protection Agency has well-defined criteria for Class A biosolids, which can be reused, and Class B biosolids, which can be land-applied. Aerobic digestion usually aims for reduction of volatile solids, specific oxygen uptake rate, and pathogen present in the sludge. Anaerobic digestion results in production of biogas, made up of methane and carbon dioxide, which can be further used for heat energy generation. Digestion processes are temperature sensitive and require a significant amount of retention time, sometimes in excess of 20 days, to achieve the treatment objectives. Ovivo plans to pre treat the WAS with phagotrophic algae. The WAS may be combined with primary sludge or any external biodegradable waste, such as food grade waste. Algae will feed off bacteria and particle, as well as dissolved organic. Then, after the concentration of these small microorganisms has been rapidly reduced, the phagotrophic algae themselves are starved. Being eukaryotic, without cell walls to help them maintain cell integrity, the phagotrophic algae require much higher energy. Hence, in the dark digestion processes, they quickly die off. The combined sequence of destroying the small microorganisms, including pathogens in sludge, followed by the rapid death of phagotrophic algae, starved of both external food sources and light energy for their survival, leads to faster VS reduction and earlier attainment of treatment objectives. Ovivo has been working with the University of Akron for more than a year developing the concept, and the results from lab scale as well as pilot plant have been very encouraging. Some of the highlights are shown here. We believe we have developed unique solutions for resource recovery and biosolids management. Please contact us for more details.